Ukrainian students in the U.S. are watching a war in their homeland thousands of miles away, and they're struggling with uncertainty. Many are suffering homesickness, facing economic hardships. ABC News' Alexis Christophorus spoke with one Ukrainian student who's finding support from an unlikely source. Sophia Zerzak remembers exactly where she was on UC Berkeley's campus when she learned that Russia was invading her hometown of Kyiv. I remember being in the dining hall and reading the news uh, and exactly those news about the actual invasion starting. Uh, and uh, life just stopped for me for a moment uh, because I realized how unpredictable and how dangerous the situation is. Sophia's father, Ruslan, remains in Kyiv, while her mother, Natalia, Natalia has fled to Poland to stay with a family that's taking in Ukrainian refugees. Natalia FaceTimes with her daughter nearly every day. When I phone home and phone Sofia, I was happy that the connection, it works and it is possible to see, to hear uh, all my family. For 19-year-old Sophia, watching the war from afar seems surreal. The road that I used every single day is now filled with uh, remainders of tanks and burnt cars. I think uh, that these are history, like pictures from the history textbooks. Uh, and yeah, I, I do not really recognize the city anymore. Just six months into her freshman year, the war has upended life for Sofia and the roughly 1,700 other Ukrainian college students studying in the U.S. For data science? Yay! Unable to return home for the summer, Sofia and many like her were left scrambling to find a way to stay in the U.S. The U.S. federal government has temporarily extended visas for Ukrainian students, while schools, including the University of Chicago and Columbia University, are offering scholarships for displaced students. Now, corporate America is answering the call. The San Francisco-based tech company AI is one of over a dozen companies offering Ukrainian college students paid summer internships. Sophia will join them this summer as a software coder. What inspired you and your company to look specifically for Ukrainian students in the U.S. to be interns this summer? So it actually was an employee-led initiative. Our company is all about safety, and we started to think about the children. And that's how we got there, was we, the children inside of Ukraine, and then we looked at children who were, who were outside of Ukraine who couldn't get home. Three of AI's 10 summer interns are from Ukraine, and the company crowdsourced to find them temporary summer housing. For Sophia, the opportunity is a lifeline. Uh, it is definitely very important um, in terms of uh, general expenses uh, over summer, but uh, it is even more important for me uh, in terms of tuition for next semester. Uh, because tuition, international tuition in Berkeley is very uh, expensive. Natalia is grateful Sophia is safely out of the country. Uh, I'm very happy and I'm very thankful, thankful for, to all uh, people who is connected with this uh, uh, internship and uh, to all volunteers around the world who help Ukrainian now. What's the thing you miss the most when you think about, about home? I miss my dogs. <laughs> when you do finally get back to Ukraine, what is the first thing you want to do or the first thing you want to see? I would just love to have a, a nice, quiet evening walk in the center of the city and go to a nice restaurant somewhere that is peaceful. And Sophia plans to major in computer science at UC, at UC Berkeley and says she hopes to return to Ukraine after she graduates to help her homeland rebuild. Our thanks to Alexis for that report. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.